Hello everyone, welcome to the course of Data Communications and Networks. In today's class, we are going to learn about multiplexing and demultiplexing with respect to transport layer. Okay, so let's have a quick few points regarding the multiplexing and demultiplexing. Okay, so in multiplexing uh, with respect to the transport layer, the data is collected at various points with respect to the application processes. In short, we can also call the applications as apps. Okay, so these segments generally uh, contains source port number, destination port number, header files, as well as data. Okay, so these segments are later passed to the network layer, which adds the source and destination IP address to get the datagram. Okay, so what are these datagram and uh, and what are these segments? If you go to the UDP concept, you will find it very much clear. Okay, once you uh, have a basic knowledge about that. Okay. So coming to the demultiplexing, so once the message is delivered, so delivering the received segments at the receiver side to the correct application or the correct app. Okay. So that is considered as the demultiplexing. So let us say the best example I will give you two mobile phones are there. Two persons in the mobile phones are having conversation using a particular app or an application, let us say. It can be an email conversation, chat or WhatsApp or Telegram or anything. Okay. Suppose the mobile number one is sending messages to uh, mobile number two using a WhatsApp. The receiver mobile number two need to receive the messages in the which application WhatsApp itself is right. Okay. So in order, so each mobile device will be doing some multiple applications or multitaskings at a time. So whenever these signals or data are going out through these mobile devices and whenever these signals or data is coming inside the mobile devices so through what application or an app that particular person is communicating to that particular app only we need to receive the message as well right if you are um, gmail uh, using a gmail you need to receive messages through gmail only okay so if you are uh, sending a message through whatsapp Again, you need to get the message to the WhatsApp only, not Telegram. Okay. So in the transmitting so, uh, application and the receiving application, both should be same. So this multiplexing and demultiplexing concept in the transport layer helps in uh, transmitting and receiving of the data using several segments, sports numbers, and also datagrams. Okay, such that those major messages will be delivered to an appropriate or the correct applications or an app. Okay, so the destination host coming to the demultiplexing, the destination host receives the IP datagrams, and each datagram has a source IP as always uh, and a destination IP address. Okay, now what happens? Each datagram carries one transport layer segment, and each segment has also source port number as well as destination port number based on the source and destination port numbers only we are able to transmit and receive the messages correctly to the perfect application now the destination host uses the ip addresses and the port numbers to direct the uh, segment or the message to the appropriate sockets okay where sockets are nothing but the gateway through which a uh, the data will be transmitted to the perfect application or an app. See, if you see the source and destination, you can see over here, the source is having, let us say three applications. One is Google, one is Outlook, and one is the chat room. Okay. So once the multiplexing has been done, that means all the data related to the three applications are combined together. And after the multiplexing, it will be transmitted to the receiving end or the destination end in a, as a single signal. Okay. Now, once the content or the data of which is of a single signal, which includes Google, Outlook, and chat room, will be again demultiplexed. And all the three data after demultiplexing, based on these segments, port numbers, as well as IP address, it will be sent to the destination. So whatever the message coming from Google, from the source goes to the Google in the destination. 
whatever the message or the data coming from outlook from the source goes to the outlook application in the destination and whatever the data coming from the chart in the source again goes to the uh, um, chart room which is present in the destination so it will not get the data should not get interchanged by any chance okay so this particular data segments of each app can be easily done with the help of multiplexing and demultiplexing okay see source is there destination is there if you clearly see the source and destination is having some sort of port numbers okay so let us say 80 21 23 in the source which you see over there are port numbers of three different applications as we have seen right google outlook as well as some chat room okay let us say 80 is the port number for google 21 is the port number for outlook 23 is the port number for chat room okay so once the data is multiplexed it travels through all the layers osi layers like application presentation session transport network data link as well as physical it need to uh, travel through all these layers and once it reaches the destination again it again gets need to travel through all the osa model okay so physical layer is nothing but the hardware layer and the application layer is where the user is interfacing graphically okay so using a demultiplexer again all the signals are divided and it will be sent to the respective um, based on the port number so 21 is like outlook 80 is the google and the 23 is the uh, chart room as we have earlier discussed okay so this is based on the numbers what we are explaining but the concept of overall multiplexing and demultiplexing in the transport layer is overall the same okay so up to the transport layer the signal will be in one form okay once the transport layer once the signal reaches the transport layer it gets demultiplexed and the destination receives the uh, data uh, separately based on the port number assigned okay and also at the source end all the data are separately goes to the transport layer and at the transport layer the multiplexing happens from where the combined all the data will be combined into segments into a single form okay and based on the port numbers they are transformed to the destination this is a basic concept how a multiplexing and demultiplexing is used in a uh, transport layer okay so these are some of the uh, uh, points where we have uh, again discussed about multiplexing and demultiplexing these are the points where you can take uh, take them as notes okay thank you